Loading a PDF file into a picture box is not straightforward, because picture box is designed to display images, rather than document format like PDFs. However, you can achieve this by converting each page of PDF into an image, and then displaying these images in the picture box. I will show you an example. First, create a PDF file. Open Microsoft Word. Add sample text and image. And then save it as a PDF file. I have created a sample PDF, named PDF test file. Let's load it now into the picture box. I have one button, and one picture box here. I will run the program. Click the button labeled, load PDF file. As you can see, I successfully loaded my created PDF into picture box. I will show you how it works step by step. Be sure to watch the entire video so you don't miss anything. But before we start, welcome to Kadev Tips, your ultimate destination for programming tutorials and all things code related. If you're passionate about learning to code or improving your programming skills, you're in the right place. But before we dive into today's programming tutorial, I'd like to invite you to become a part of our growing community. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. By subscribing, you'll gain access to a wealth of programming knowledge and stay updated with the latest tutorials we release. So, go ahead and subscribe now, and let's get coding. Add a button in a picture box to the form. Change the size mode property of a picture box from normal to zoom. Next, in order to display a PDF file in a picture box, we need to download and install pdfm.dll into our project. To do this, simply follow these steps. In the Solution Explorer, right click on your project and select Manage NuGet Packages. Go to the Browse tab and search for PDFM Viewer. Go to the first result. On the right side, click the small download icon to download and install PDFM Viewer into your project. After you have finished, return to the Browse tab again. Now search for pdfmviewer.native. Go to the first result. Once again, on the right side, click the small download icon to download and install pdfmviewer.native into your project. Once you have finished, go back to the main form. Now, let's add code by double clicking on the form. At the top, add the following using directive using pdfmviewer. Next, at the bottom, add new method named, load PDF page to picture box, with the following code. I have the code ready here. You can pause the video to copy it. This code will convert a PDF file to images so we can load it into the picture box. Once done, go back to the design view and double click the button. In the button click event, write the following code int page number equals zero. On the next line, call the method load PDF page to picture box with two parameters. The first parameter is the file location of the PDF file you want to load into the picture box. I will use the PDF file I created at the beginning of this video. Go to the file you want to load right click on it, select properties, and copy the file location. Then paste it here. In the end, add the file name of your PDF file, and at the beginning, add an at sign. The second parameter is the page number, which indicates the page number of the PDF file to load into the picture box if it has multiple pages. Let's run the program now. Click the load button. Oops, there's an error. An unhandled exception of the type system.dll not found exception occurred in pdfm.dll. If you've encountered the same error as me, don't worry, I will show you how to fix it. It's just a compatibility issue. 
Stop the program first. To fix it, in the Solution Explorer, double click on Properties. Click on the Build tab and ensure that the platform target is set to any CPU and that Prefer 32 bit is unchecked. Press Ctrl S to save changes, then let's run the program again. Click the load button. It's working. We're done. But before you go, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel for more helpful tutorials. Your support means a lot and helps me create more content like this. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. See you next time.